Weather Watch continues this evening. Hello, I'm Gary Archibald alongside my partner, Nicole Karkic. Uh, I was on assignment for the last few days. It was busy, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I had to hold down the fort, do all the work yeah, here, Gary. Yeah, and uh, there's a lot to talk about coming up, too. So we're going to share. We're going to share the right. workload this evening. Around Toronto today, it was comfortable outside. Many people walking around. Exactly. We had some instability in the atmosphere around British Columbia and Kelowna, B.C. Heavy downpours. Power outages and people were commenting on, on our storm page, uh, our storm line rather, and on our Facebook pages, just talking about how violent it was. And some people hadn't seen storms like that in a couple of years. In Alberta right now, we are seeing uh, some thunderstorm activity north of Lethbridge, some popping up just south of Swift Current, and also in Manitoba too, just random instability in the atmosphere. And we're just going to continue to track isolated, mainly non severe storms, but come, some could be severe in nature. By Friday, we'll be seeing 23 degrees in Red Deer, swift current, 20 degrees for you, and also the risk of thunderstorms continues in the southern prairies. On Friday in Vancouver, we'll get up to 22. We're still dry. It's not until the weekend. By the end of the weekend, we'll start to see the rain. Calgary, 23 for you. And in Ontario, thunderstorms in northwestern Ontario. Tonight, here's the risk. Tomorrow in St. John's, Newfoundland will get up to 19 degrees, sunny across the Maritimes. Unsettled, though, towards the Nickel Belt, northwestern Ontario, too, and a chance of some stormy weather around Edmonton. We're dry in Vancouver on Friday. We have sunshine Friday, but by Saturday, notice that system sinking south will bring us increasing cloud cover. And yes, very warm in the southern prairies with that ridge in the jet stream. On Saturday and Sunday, Regina, Winnipeg, our daytime high? 30 degrees. That's above seasonal by about 5 degrees. We are seeing stormy conditions around Ontario and through cottage country, Toronto, a chance of storms in the afternoon, evening time. Windsor, Sarnia, too. Mainly clear in Atlantic Canada on Sunday. Storms once again around southern Ontario, moving towards Ottawa and Montreal now. And still warm and fairly dry in the prairies. And in Vancouver and Victoria, by Sunday, that's when the rain is finally coming for us there. Steady rains at that. Monday, it continues in B.C. And we're seeing storms now in southern Saskatchewan and clearing out in Ontario. If you're just joining us looking for your local forecasts, well, guess what? You're in luck. They start in less than 52 seconds from right now. And then stay tuned. We'll talk about the big active weather stories across the country. But a quick peek at a few select cities here. In Montreal, 25 degrees on Friday. By Sunday, that's when we're seeing the rain for you there. Looks like a nice weekend in for most of the prairie, maritime provinces, rather. St. John's, finally by the weekend, we're closer to seasonal in terms of our temperatures. Toronto, 27 degrees on Friday. Looks stormy on Saturday and Sunday. Ottawa storms for you on Sunday. Windsor, Saturday looks unsettled. And for us in the Prairie Provinces, for Saskatoon, Friday's wet, but by the weekend, high pressure in place for the southern prairies. It's going to be fairly quiet. And for Vancouver, finally on Sunday, you're going to start to see some rain late in the day, 21 degrees as the daytime high. Two temperatures reached a high of about 25 degrees, but a lot of cloud cover because of the wraparound effect with a low pressure system that we're following in extreme northwestern Ontario around Dryden and towards Thunder Bay. We are seeing some thunderstorms this evening, but it was also very windy today around Toronto. Gusts were around 50 kilometers an hour at about 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Looking at the radar returns right now towards the prairies, we are seeing just a, a lot of activity, a lot of instability in the atmosphere, so widespread pop-up thunderstorms around Saskatoon. We have a severe thunderstorm watch in place for you. Southern Alberta as well, and cloudy and showery around Winnipeg. Now, for Winnipeg, we're hot and humid today. By tomorrow, our high about 25 degrees with no humid X values, so the storms will clear out, and that'll clear up the air, too. There are those storms we're following in northwestern Ontario, so pushing through Red Lake, Sioux Lookout, and on their way towards Thunder Bay. The biggest risk with these is that we could see hail about two centimeters in diameter, wind gusts close to 90 kilometers an hour. So that risk tonight in the northwest, that's causing the cloud cover around cottage country in Ontario and that risk of thunderstorms in southern Manitoba. As we take a zoomed in look here, notice that around Shaunavon, we do have some cells bubbling up from the United States. Those could reach severe limits. So again, that widespread risk of activity for this evening. Stay tuned.
Your complete national weather details coming up. Hello, I'm Gary Archibald alongside my partner, Nicole Karkick. Good to be back. I know you've been doing the solo gig. I have. I've been sweating here alone. <laughs> now, people weren't sweating today in okay. Toronto, Gary. It was... Uh, Right around seasonal temperature wise, but there was a lot of instability in the atmosphere around Alberta, British Columbia, and through the interior. We saw the lightning strikes and the thunderstorms, heavy downpours around Kelowna yesterday. Today, a different story. It was very quiet. We got up to about 28 degrees. Tomorrow, 33 and sunny. Right now, there's some thunderstorms popping up around southern Alberta, southern Saskatchewan, and southern Manitoba, too. We have lots of watches and warnings in place uh, in and around Winnipeg. And if there are any warnings in your area, a red message will appear on your screen with details on that. So, continuing to track the isolated severe storms across the prairies. And as I mentioned, again, it's just this instability and a disturbance moving through Alberta that's just sparking off all the activity. By Friday, it'll clear out in Alberta, Lethbridge 23 degrees, switch current 20 degrees for you. You'll notice the cool down in Winnipeg. Today feeling closer to 30, tomorrow 24 degrees. That's actually right around seasonal for you, but with the rain and the cloud cover, it'll feel a lot different than today. In Vancouver, 22 degrees. Calgary, finally up to closer to seasonal by tomorrow, 23 degrees in Calgary. Today, we reached a high of about 18 degrees. In northwestern Ontario now, around Sioux, Lookout, and Dryden, we're following a line of thunderstorms that could produce hail about two centimeters in diameter. They have their eyes set on Thunder Bay, those thunderstorms, and notice that risk there in southern Manitoba too. On Friday, it clears out for us through Wawa and Marathon, but Thunder Bay still has a risk of seeing some thunderstorms. Around Toronto, 27 degrees on Friday. The humidity is on the rise once again. Ottawa, 26 degrees for you. This to me looks like patio weather. I'm sure they'll be jam-packed. And in the maritime provinces, we're just starting to see some cloud cover and storms in northern New Brunswick. This long rain... Looking ahead to Friday, we're going to see the rainy conditions around Corner Brook, Newfoundland, St. John's, up to 19 degrees for you by then. That's a nice change after today's Peasley 13. Unsettled across northern Ontario, dry in BC by Saturday. Big warm up in the prairies, Regina and Winnipeg up to 30 degrees. Stormy weather approaching Toronto and for Ottawa, it looks like Sunday's the best chance for you to see the thunderstorms. It'll be hot and humid on the weekend though across southern Ontario. It's just the stormy weather is really looking to be upon us. Warm up still in through the prairies and dry and unsettled in BC, Vancouver. On Sunday, you're going to see showers and that continues to your Monday. Quite a change to what we've seen over the last little while. This long-range forecast has been brought to you by 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Say good -er. Around Sioux Lookout in northwestern Ontario, Environment Canada has severe thunderstorm watches in place. We could see large size hail, heavy downpours, windy conditions too. No more watches and warnings right now in through southern Manitoba, but the risk is there to continue to see some thunderstorms. And as we travel towards the west, around Calgary we're seeing thunderstorms, along Highway 2 down south towards Leth Lethbridge we're seeing some active weather thanks to a disturbance pushing through and a separate system right here, bubbling up from the United United States out of Montana. We have some severe thunderstorm cells around Swift Current, Shaunavin 2. This could bring us about 50 millimeters of rain within only the span of a few hours in some spots. So today, that isolated risk of severe thunderstorms across the board in the west through the interior of BC, again, the chance of thunderstorms for you. In through the Maritimes, northern sections of the Maritimes seeing some thunderstorm activity. So here's the risk of thunderstorms for this evening. Stay tuned. The Weather Watch continues just ahead. You know what, yesterday, Gary, so many of our viewers were uh, tweeting about it, commenting on our Facebook page and calling our storm line saying the lightning strikes around Kelowna are just amazing. And it's something that many of our viewers haven't seen in a really long time, but it unfortunately brought heavy downpours and power outages across the board in the region. Right now, we're seeing storms with a disturbance in through Alberta, southern Alberta, around Calgary and along Highway 2, not good driving there, and bubbling up from the United States uh, out of Montana. Montana, uh, around Swift Current and south of that, we could see heavy downpours, and that could yield about 50 millimeters of rain in only the span of a few hours. So widespread risk today across the southern prairies and through the interior of BC as well. By Friday, uh, sunny conditions around Alberta, around Lethbridge, 23 degrees for you, Winnipeg, 24 degrees, and in Calgary, 
projecting to get to 23 degrees on Friday. A nice change from today. We only reached a high of about 19. That's below seasonal. Vancouver 22, we're still dry. And looking in Ontario right now, a system making its way through, bringing us some thunderstorms around Sioux Lookout, Dryden, Thunder Bay, expecting to see it soon too. And that could bring us some heavy downpours and also large size hail up to two centimeters in diameter. So the risk right here and tomorrow, Thunder Bay still Another chance of thunderstorms, 27 degrees. That's actually right around seasonal. Let's check out the scene in Toronto. Looks really nice to me. And on true 24 degrees in and around the city, even felt cold for some people. By Friday, temperatures warm up a little bit. We'll also have human X values returning. 27 degrees in Toronto. For Ottawa, we're looking at 26 degrees for you. In through the Maritimes, some drizzle moving in through northern sections of New Brunswick. A chance of mainly non-severe thunderstorms tomorrow. St. John's finally 21 times and with the cloud cover no sunshine not the best day to be hanging out by the beach in toronto winds were gusting around 50 kilometers an hour in through the afternoon and also temperatures quite cool there as we look at our weather story across the country we're seeing thunderstorms right now in parts of the prairies southern manitoba has seen them start starting to taper off right now around saskatchewan near swift current we've seen the heavy downpours slow moving thunderstorm cells there and a disturbance in alberta Alberta sparking off some thunderstorms around Calgary this evening. Northwestern Ontario, too, seeing some action around Dryden and Sioux Lookout moving towards Thunder Bay as the evening rolls on. And isolated severe storms possibly in Quebec, mainly non-severe in through northern sections of New Brunswick. Across the country on Friday, the most active weather looks to be in northern Ontario and through the Nickel Belt, too, where thunderstorms are expected. We are warming up in St. John's on Friday, a welcome relief to the cold conditions we saw this week, those raw east winds will get up to about 19 degrees in St. John's tomorrow. In Alberta, there's still a risk of seeing thunderstorms on Friday. We're still dry in through BC. Vancouver, 22 degrees for you. Calgary, 23 degrees. And check that out. It wasn't 19, it's 21 in St. John's on Friday afternoon.